Roses are red and violets are blue, but a few plants absolutely stink. Many flowers use scents wafted on breezes to attract pollinators, often over great distances to visit the flower and enable fertilization. In most cases, the smells are sweet and delightful, but not always. A few plants produce flowers that absolutely pong. The biggest and most striking examples are the giant Rafflesia and Amorphophallus flowers of the rainforests of Asia. As we saw in the World's Biggest Flowers episode of this series, these really smelly giant flowers are highly adapted to rainforest conditions, where visual signals, such as colour, are not very effective because of the density of the undergrowth. Instead, these giant smelly blooms produce flowers that stand up to three metres tall or more. They act exactly like chimneys to dissipate their stench to attract carrion flies and other insects. While the giant aroids can be grown at home, there are many other stinky plants which you can cultivate to really gross out your parents, friends or neighbours. Believe it or not, there is a bushy shrub from Mexico that produces really weird green flowers that smell exactly like sweaty feet. It's called Diharinia smaragardina, but it's really hard to get hold of. And this is the smelly feet plant. And it really stinks, just like smelly feet. <sighs> one of the best smelly plants to grow at home, and certainly one of the smelliest flowers of all, is the stunning dragon lily, Dracunculus vulgaris. It's cold tolerant and can survive frosty conditions in winter, but every April, May or June, it produces a flower that stenches just like rotting meat. A big one can smell so strongly that in a breeze the smell may travel 100 meters or more, so be sure to close your windows. The dragon lily is very easy to grow in your garden, plant it in a lightly shaded area with rich but well-trained soil. It can take a few years to reach full size, but then will flower reliably every year. The blooms last just a few days, then die. Several other aroids are also easy to grow at home, such as the voodoo lily, Tithonium venusum. This might not be as large as the dragon lily, but smells perhaps even worse. While it looks really exotic, it's actually very cold tolerant and can be grown in your garden alongside the dragon lily. Starfish flowers, or stapeliads, also have amazing blooms that smell revolting. These are succulent plants from semi-arid parts of Africa and Asia, and there are hundreds of species to choose from, belonging to more than 20 genera. The flowers differ but all have a five-armed starfish-like shape, hence the common name. This is Stapelia gigantea. This is the biggest of all the starfish flowers, and each bloom can be up to 40 centimeters across. Each plant can produce dozens of flowers a year, and an entire clump like this can produce hundreds. And each flower absolutely stinks. So if you want a plant to smell out your house and annoy your parents, this one is it. Many starfish flowers have incredible patterns, such as the Persian carpet flower, Edithcola grandis. The contrasting stripes really make the flower stand out to pollinators. Others can have striking combinations of colors and shapes, as well as interesting succulent foliage. Many starfish flowers are easy to grow at home and are extremely low maintenance. Stapelia variegata is one of the easiest of all. Grow it similar to cacti in sandy, fast-draining substrate on a sunny windowsill or as a patio plant outside during summer. This and most other starfish flowers will die if exposed to freezing temperatures. So don't let your plant receive frost. Water your starfish flower just once or twice a month during summer and not at all during winter you are much more likely to kill your plant by overwatering than underwatering. So if in doubt, don't water. If the plant is really thirsty, its stems will go wrinkly, then give it a drink. If you provide these conditions, 
you too can successfully grow your own garden of stinky flowers. Good luck and happy growing.